You know, and what kind of, I think, could easily get lost in that inning, make sure to, you know, I think it was a big spot. We were trying to bunt, but Michael had the presence of mind to take it that walk, you know, and I couldn't tell exactly how far those pitches are, but from the side, they looked pretty close, you know, competitive. So that was a huge spot in the inning. And then obviously when they went to Bummer and Massey got the big hit to start it and Jackie obviously extended the inning and then MJ. So three lefties, you know, he's a very tough lefty on left-handed hitter. So very impressive inning. What have you seen from Massey lately? Just the- yeah, I mean, I, I think really it all comes down to timing and swing decisions. Um, you know, when you see him expand, he struggles. When when he refines the zone and is on time, that he puts a good swing on the ball. Yeah, I, I mean, MJ's got a different swing. You know, it's longer. It's, you know, more power behind it, obviously, as you saw tonight and in the past. But so he's probably got a little more... Um, Little more things to sync up for him, you know. But when when he does, it's it's special. Just big picture, what have you seen? It's been a really hot seven days for you guys, just with zoom walls and approach. What have you seen from your offense? Hot. You're talking about the offense is hot. Okay. Um, Yeah. I mean, again, I I think I I was saying it early when we weren't scoring runs. The process was great. The whole time, you know, and teams are going to go through ups and downs offensively throughout the course of a year. So I'm happy for the guys that they're having that success, but I'm more happy that they haven't changed their work, their thought process. They didn't panic. It's easy to do when you're struggling and they didn't do that and they stuck with their plan. And now they're having some success and it's nice to see. Honestly, and the execution is what's changed in particular, the the swing decisions that you referenced with, with Michael, it seems like, has crossed the entire lineup. But I, I mean, I think there's a few things that go into it. One, the more at-bats you get, the more comfortable you get with your timing generally. And the better your timing is, the better you swing decisions you tend to make. Um, that's a very broad generalization. But when you get some hits, your confidence grows. You start to see the ball a little better. You, you put better swings on the ball. When you think of MJ and what he did today, home run, then he had a big play in the outfield. How have you seen his confidence kind of continue to grow, and how is the team feeding off of that? He's confident. There's no doubt about it. I mean, and that's the thing that good players are confident when they're struggling, too, because it is all failure. And if you lose that confidence in yourself, that can really spiral. So there's a there's a... It's kind of a skill to be able to trick yourself, so to speak, into being that confident even when things aren't going well. Now, there's confidence and then the humility underneath it to continue to do the work and know that you have to continue to get better. Those things kind of have to balance each other out, and MJ has a good a good balance of that. And you talk about a guy like Jackie Bradley Jr. feeding the offense from the bottom of the order and helping turn the Turn the lineup over. How good was it to see him kind of break out of a slump today? Really good, really good. And I, you know, in fairness, the last couple of days he's swung the bat pretty well too. Um, so he's gotten some regular at bats here. His timing again is probably getting better. He's seeing the ball better. Um, and Jackie obviously has been a really good major league player for a long time. So it's not surprising, um, but it is really nice to see. What do you think of Cranky? Yeah, he's he's good. <laughs> like. You know, he he pitches, he doesn't give in, he can do so many things with the ball, you know. I think he'd want he'd want the pitch back to, to Sheets, but other than that, he threw the ball really, really well and I was, we needed that start. And then, um happened with the mirror and how's he feeling now? Yeah, I mean general illness really, I mean nothing's wrong. Um he's fine. I just talked to him before I came in here. No real explanation as to why unless it was you know, food or something, but he, he feels fine now. It's just as he got, you know, his adrenaline got going, his heart rate got ramped up in the outing, and obviously you saw what happened. I know winning two two consecutive games is a streak that you want to continue to see progress, but just the small sample size, knowing that the team can make this run kind of going forward, how does it make you feel as, as a manager? Great. Well, for myself, 
uh, you know, I don't care about like whether we're winning games. And for me, it's I'm, ha I'm really happy for them because we've struggled to win games, and it takes it takes another belief that you can do it. You know, and to be down, Cease is a really good pitcher. We're down three to one. It's a big homer to tie it, take the lead. They tie it. So it's a back and forth game against a really talented team. And so these guys believing that they can keep going, keep going and make that happen. I think that speaks volumes to what they can do. I'll just give one update on Yarbs. Um, he was released from the hospital. He'll have some more testing tomorrow, um, but everything is trending in a really positive direction.